Kimi K2 has just blown up the entire AI space. Not only is it the most powerful model out there right now, but what if I told you it's basically free and you'll potentially never have to pay for AI again? And oh yeah, it's completely open source. In this video, I'm gonna show you why Kimi K2 just shook up the entire industry, why it has Sam Altman changing all his plans, and how you can get Kimi K2 set up so you never have to pay for AI coding again. This might be the end of Claude Code. Let's lock in and get into it. So this is Kimi K2. This is a brand new model out of the Chinese company Moonshot and there's so many mind-blowing things about this. First of all, if you go to their site right now, Kimi.com, you can use their chatbot completely free, unlimited. Completely free and unlimited. How unheard of is that? But what makes it even more amazing is it's actually an incredible, incredible model. Looking at the benchmarks, it beats pretty much every other model out there. And what's really amazing is it's comparing it to every company's top model. They're comparing it to Claude for Opus, and this isn't even a thinking model. And it's beating pretty much all of them. The only model that seems to come consistently close is Claude 4 Opus, but they're pretty much neck to neck in almost every single benchmark. What's crazy, it's not even a thinking model, so the results you're gonna get are gonna be super quick. So it's free, it's just as good as all the other top models out there, and it's open source, which means you can download it, run it locally, and tinker with it any way you want. It has an unbelievable one trillion total parameters. I'm telling you, I don't know what's in the water in China, but they're making some unbelievable AI model. Now, why do I say it's basically free? Well, one thing, if you're using the chat bot on Kimi.com, it is literally free. You can do as much research, as much searching, as much anything you want completely for free, no charges at all. The only time you'll run into payments is if you're using the API, but even then with the API, it is a quarter of the price of Claude Opus. These are some unbelievable prices here. And what's even more amazing is it's actually a free tier. So when you start using it, it will be free up to a certain point. You get something like 1 million tokens a day, completely free, which is a good amount. I mean, this has shaken up the entire industry. Just this week, OpenAI was supposed to release their own open source model. Their first First open source model ever. But right when they were supposed to do it, Kimi K2 comes out and it blows away all the competition. So what happens? Well, it looks like OpenAI delayed their open source model because of this. So Sam Altman just tweeted less than 24 hours ago, we plan to launch our open weight model next week. We are delaying it. We need time to run additional safety tests and review high risk areas. Now listen, did he say they're delaying because of Kimi K2? No, but this is pretty convenient timing. If you're open AI and you're looked at as the king of AI, you can't release an open source model that's weaker than a Chinese model that just came out. So they have to go back to the drawing board and make sure it beats this competition. So let's do this. I wanna show you how you can use the model as a coding agent. I'm gonna show you how you can install it into Cursor so you can start using it and you don't have to pay for anything until you hit the limits. And then even when you do hit the limits, it's gonna be way cheaper than any other model you use. So here's what you need to do. Open up the development environment of your choice. I'm gonna go with Cursor for this, but once you have that downloaded and opened up, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the extension section over here. So you hit the extensions button over on the left-hand side. Then what you're gonna do is type in Klein. Klein is an open source AI agent that we can plug any API key into. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna download Klein. We're gonna plug the Kimi K2 API key into it. And then we're gonna start to be able to code with Kimi K2. So once you have Klein downloaded into Cursor or whatever development environment you're using, we need to get our API key. So if you go to platform.moonshot.ai slash console, I'll put the link down below. Make sure you sign up for an account there. Once you're in there, we're gonna go to API keys. And from here, we're going to create an API. We're gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it Kimmy. We'll put it in the default project and I'll hit enter on. That will spit out an API key for you. We're gonna copy that. Okay, so we're gonna take this API key and put it into Klein so we can start coding for free. So what we're gonna do in here is make sure you hit settings. You're gonna click this drop down. We're gonna choose Anthropic as our API. API provider. They run the API through Anthropic, so this is standard. We click on that. Take your API key you just got in Kimi and paste that into Anthropic API key here. For the model, just leave that be. Doesn't matter which model you choose. Since you put in your Kimi API key, it'll use the latest Kimi model. You're gonna wanna make sure you click on use custom base URL. For the custom base URL, you're gonna use api.moonshot.ai 
guy slash anthropic. I'll put the link down below so you can just copy and paste that. Make sure you get it perfect. Feel free to pause here to grab that. From there, any model is fine. So you can leave that be on Sonnet or whatever it did for you. And then you can click done. One thing you need to know before you start using the free tier, you do need to put a couple dollars of credit on there to unlock the free tier. So I'm just gonna pay $10 and then you can use the free tier every day and it won't take away from those $10. And then if you do go over, it will take that. But with any other model, you're spending $10 in like an hour. So this is still a very good deal. So now you're all set up. You have Kimi K2 all set up. You basically can code now for way cheaper than you were before and you can save a ton of money. So let's get this going. Let's test this out. My favorite test to do with any new AI model is just have it build out a 3D first person shooting game. I don't give it many instructions. Say, hey, build this game out. So once we can see what kind of taste it has, we'll come up with creative ways to build the game out, put in assets. So let's see, I'll put this prompt down below. Feel free to copy and paste it and put it into Kimmy and let's see what it can come up with. So I said, I want you to build a 3D first person shooter using 3JS. Make this a single file game in index so I can run it easily. Make it creative and fun with beautiful graphics. So we're giving it a lot of room for interpretation so we can see how well it does. I'm gonna hit enter on that. All right, so now it's going. There we go, it's building out the game for us. And again, this is on the free tier, so it's not using up any of our credits. It's just building this out. So it is building for us a full 3D first person shooter. This is with 3JS. For those who don't know, 3JS is the easiest to use library for 3D games and experiences. So I always have my models use 3JS if I'm building any sort of game out. It's building it out for us. From a speed perspective, it seems all right. Maybe it's because we're doing this through Klein. It's going a little bit slower because we're doing it through the API and it isn't native, but that's fine. It's still building this out and it's doing it for free. If you're using any other provider for this, you'd probably be paying a decent amount for every prompt you do. So if you're on a budget, this is a great way to do it. As you can see, as it's building out all the code, it's building out the walls, it's building out the maze-like structures. I mean, this is actually getting pretty creative. So this is gonna be interesting to see. All right, looks like it's all set. Let's see how we do here. Let's open this up and see how it runs. So if you're following along with me at home, all you need to do is find index.html in the folder you set up cursor in. Pop that open and let's see how we did here. Oh, look at this. Here we go. So it's a neon style. Oh, if I shoot, okay, I can kill the enemies. I think the problem is I'm running backwards into the enemies. But what you can see is it did do kind of a stylistic 3D neon game. Uh, I do like the taste. Now, do the enemies look that advanced? No, they are just pink. Uh, they are just pink squares. But at the same time, it did one shot the game. And I do like the color scheme. I mean, it does kind of look like puke, but but like they did go for a stylish, a stylistic effect, right? And now if I were to go through here and add a few more props, say, hey, build out an opponent, build out health packs, build out power-ups. I'd be able to do that, but it built out a pretty solid game for one shot and not to mention completely free. So that's Kimmy K2. That is the model that is changing the industry. Now, listen, am I going to get off of Claude Code now because of this? Probably not. I'm paying the $200 a month. I've been able to build really awesome applications with it. I'm very used to the workflow, but if I'm someone who's a little bit more price conscious, who hasn't gone into Claude Code yet, who's not used to those types of workflows, I'd start here. This is completely free and really powerful. You could probably get a good amount done on this free tier. And even if you went over the limits, it's so cheap, you're probably just spending a couple bucks a month. It's definitely worth playing around with. I'll have all the links below so that you can try out the chat bot if you want to see how powerful this model is. And I'll also have the links to Klein and everything you need to get set up with coding so that you can start building apps today for free if you want to save a couple bucks. If you learned anything at all, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. All I do is film amazing videos on building cool stuff with AI. I'll see you in the next video.